Africa's rise should be important to the entire world. We need to grow. We need to build infrastructure, assure food security, strengthen our health and education systems, and create jobs. All of this requires long-term financing. While I renew my call to all major financial agencies to consider the realities of today's world, and particularly for middle and low income countries. Our financing needs are growing due to climate change and the cost of living crisis among others, debt is a burden. Inequalities in the international financial architecture makes access to finance inadequate and expensive. The world needs to internalize the fact that the population project projection of Africa in 2015 is 2.5 billion people, making us the most populous continent in the world. Africa's rise should be important to the entire world. We need to grow. We need to build infrastructure, assure food security, strengthen our health and education systems, and create jobs. All of this requires long-term financing while I renew my call to all major financial agencies to consider the realities of today's world and particularly for middle and low income countries. Allow me to draw your attention on some of the opportunities our continent has for the Africa we all want. First comes Africa's striving digital economy. Majority on the continent have phones and mobile data is rapidly growing. We are starting to produce large data sets that the AI system requires to allow us to learn, make prediction, inform our policies and act. Having a robust Pan-African data governance strategy aligned with the principles of Agenda 2063 will boost the continent's competitiveness, ensure productive cross-border data flow, and protect individual rights. Okay. 